for this video we will be working on challenge activity 3.2.4 under vfs topic it's also the last activity uh, under this topic unlike the previous activities in which we were given a scenario and we had to depict the scenario using if else statement in this one we have already been given the code and we have to fix any errors that may be present in order to make this program runnable so the code converts any non positive numbers or any negative numbers to a one this is the code that's been given to us first let's copy paste the code into a workspace here right and let's indent the code to make it readable readability is very important coming back to the top of the program let's discuss how this program is proceeding so have a better understanding to what we need to do first we have the variable called user num the program then takes some input from the user and then assigns the value of that input to this variable user num the program then using the if else conditions determines whether the value stored in the variable user num is greater than 0 which is the uh, which is saying the same thing as whether the value in user num is a positive number so if it is which means that the if condition evaluates out to be true then we know that we are already working with a positive number and hence we do not need to convert it to anything as such so we can just print positive to the console if the condition evaluates to false then that means we are that we are working with a negative number and hence we need to go to the else block to execute the relevant code needed to convert the negative number or the non positive number to a one which is what we do here so we assign the user num variable the new value one right now coming to the errors the first error that blatantly comes to mind is the syntax error if you remember correctly the if if block is structured in this manner right we have the curly braces where the relevant code where the code relevant to the if block and where the code relevant to the else block goes right so only the relevant code is executed based on what evaluates should be to say so if the if condition evaluates should be true then the code relevant to only this block or to only the if block is executed if the if condition evaluates to false then the code in the else block is is executed and so this this separation between the codes is determined or is established through these curly brackets right so let's first make these curly brackets in our code there now let's try running the program to see if it works if it doesn't then that means there are other errors that we may need to fix as well cool looks like all our tests passed so there are were no other errors so we only had to fix a syntax error that was there and nothing else so this was how we fixed the error in the given code if you have any confusions or any questions you are more than welcome to reach out to us